Hello. In our previous video, we were discussing flexi layouts and how we can use them for unstructured or semi-structured data. Today, we're going to explain to you how we can transfer our flexi layout to flexi capture so we can actually start processing documents. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll remind you just a little bit about what our flexi layout looks like. Let me open the project here. And you'll recall that we set up a few elements. We call those search elements. Elements help us find information on the documents. So in this case, we had planet name, and in this case, we had spaceship numbers, and we use what we call labeled fields to detect that. Now we have blocks, and you'll recall that blocks are what gets returned to the Flexi Capture project. In other words, this is the information that we will use intelligently um, when we verify the actual document itself. So um, this is a Flexi layout, and what we're going to start with the process here is we're simply going to export it. So we're going to export the Flexi layout, and we'll give it an intelligent name. Um, and you see it has an intelligent uh, extension already with it. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that there, just put the default name. We'll save it, and we'll go ahead and close the Flexi Layout Studio. What we'll do now is we will go ahead and open the uh, Abbey Project Setup Station. Um, and we will show you how to incorporate this into an, a new project. So let me bring this over here on my screen so you can see it, and we'll start a new project. Um, I'm going to save this in the similar path. So we'll just go up here, get our path here, and we'll just call this our Halloween, Halloween registration form Flexi Capture Project. Okay. So now we have an empty project, and we're going to go to Project Document Definitions we're going to create a new document definition. From here we'll make an intelligent name we'll determine whether or not it's handwritten or typed um, and we'll kind of move forward in this wizard. Now this is where we'll stop and there's a couple different things. One is we're going to load some samples which is fine we can load whichever sample we want and then we're going to load a Flexi layout. Now this is key because this is where we're going to use that exported file in order to find our Flexi layout. So uh, you recall that I exported that .afl, so I'm going to simply click that, hit OK, and hit Finish. And now you'll remember that those blocks in Flexi layout, in the Flexi layout studio, are what's, what's returned to the actual project itself. So now we can control the different requirements of this field, including data types, rules, verification settings, etc. We have full control over the rules. So Flexi Layout is what's responsible for determining the textual rules, and then those blocks are what gets returned to the project that we're in here to give us a little bit more control of it from a verification standpoint. So we can simply save this. We'll go ahead and publish it too. So we'll close this, publish it, and we'll just run a batch. We'll just go ahead and load all of our forms. We'll let those process here. And we will now go into the batch, and you'll see they'll start processing here for us. We'll look at the first one. And you can see we now have our OCR results. So that is how you get a document over from a Flexi layout to a Flexi Capture project. It's as simple as exporting the project um, and then using Flexi Capture to, to, to modify the field settings there to get us specific with what we want from either an export perspective or a verification perspective. So this is a quicker video. Um, keep looking for our other videos in this series, and we look forward to, to working with you here in the future. Thank you so much.